got this Ryobi PSB HM01 battery power drill. Very small, very good grip on it. Kind of takes a standard Ryobi battery I have with most of my other tools. It's got a really, it feels really tight. You can see the torque it's making when it turns. It has adjustable clutch. If you're on two, this will slip one or two, and then you can tighten it up all the way to 22. Put a drill bit in there, it's not going to slip. And then there's also a bit of a hammer mode, which we'll figure out in a minute. So loosen it up, put the drill bit in there, just hold the end here and tighten it on roll. Hold it, it's in there. Got a nice little LED light to point to where you're drilling. That really does a good job lighting up a little bit. Go forward and reverse. Standard chuck here. Unlock one half inch, 13 millimeter lock and unlock. Okay, you can see in the instructions, 1 through 22, different types of small screws to large schools, screws. A little symbol there is for heavy drilling, and you put it in the hammer mode for drilling into masonry concrete, so it's going to do a little vibration to help you out. And the drill has a three-year limited warranty with proof of purchase. Instructions are pretty good, very visual. Tells you... Some of the things I went over, what to look for in battery lights, but that's specific to your battery. And it has a little visual on the back here, it's Spanish and French, I guess. There's the main drill, identifies the parts. Two buttons, forward and reverse, along with the power hint, power button. How to turn and put the drill bit in correctly. Uh, you can hold that when you're doing it in reverse, you hold that, and that drill bit holder will open up. There's your battery. Of course, don't put the drill bit in sideways. And you got one in first and second speed, and then go have fun and build something. Okay, let's take a look at the drilling. Let's put it on 22, the highest. This is regular drilling mode. Goes through pretty good. And then, if you want to, put it on this hammer mode and see if you can tell the difference. Okay, goes in faster, does a little pulsating. So it gives it a little bit more power. And I think that'll be good for some some nuts that get stuck or some some screw heads. This is not a chisel drill. I actually got it thinking it was a chisel drill where it would vibrate back and forth, but it's not one of those. It's a complete rotary. One speed, two speed, it's low speed, high speed. There you have it. Another fine battery power tool by Ryobi. One plus.